Hello everyone, in this video we will do a demo of Azure File Sync Service. Azure File Sync Service allows us the synchronization of uh, on-premises file servers with Azure files which are supported by storage accounts. It has uh, several benefits. It can be used as a transition tool to move file server data to the cloud but also as a synchronization tool to keep more than one server synchronized without the use of DFS or any other application technology. The process of setting up Azure File Sync comprises of three steps. Configuring the service in Microsoft Azure, installing the agent and configuring the replication. So let's go ahead and start with our demo. First of all, we will create a resource group and under that we will create a storage account. So I will create a resource group with the name RG3. in Australia Southeast resource group has been created and now I will create a storage account with a file share on in it storage account has been created and now we will create a file share in it now our storage account is created and we have a file share in it now we will create a file sync service in our resource group the file sync service we will create it in the same region as our storage account which is Australia Southeast So now our file sync is being created. I will pause the video and come back once it's done. My file sync resource has been created and now on my file share server I have created this shared folder called shared docs. On this server we will share this folder and sync it with Azure file sync storage account. For that I will have to register this server. I will open my Azure portal on the server and go to my storage sync service which I created. Under that I will go to registered servers and from there I will download the Azure file sync agent and run on this server. My server is Windows 2012 R2 so I will select the third option for Windows 2012 R2 servers. So it will by default install in C program files. I do not have any proxy settings. I'll, I will leave use Microsoft updates check. I will leave the setting for agent auto update for it to update within three weeks of expiration. And we'll go ahead with the installation now. Installation is finished. I will sign into my account. I will select my subscription. My resource group is RG3 and my storage sync service name is storage underscore sync one and I will now register this server. Now the server has been registered and uh, we will go to Azure portal and it should show us in registered servers. It is showing my server here and now we will create a sync group. So I will go to sync groups. I 
I will select my storage account and my file share and we'll go ahead and create it sync group has been created now and sync group has one cloud endpoint in it which is my file share I will now add server endpoint here I will specify the path to my folder which I want to sync I will leave both cloud tiering and offline data transfer disabled for now and we'll go ahead and create it. The sync has been completed and if I go to my file share, I could see that my file asda.txt which was on the server is showing up here. So this was a small demo on Azure file sync service and how to set it up and back up our file shares to cloud. Azure file sync provides uh, many benefits uh, such as especially in case of disaster recovery let's say we have a file share server which is synced to cloud using azure file sync service and if that goes down we can easily set up a new server and add it as an endpoint and it will get all the files down uh, even the storage account which we have on the cloud we can take a backup of that and we can recover to a previous state let's say if we have lost a file we can do a item level recovery as well of that file using cloud tiering we can move our old data to azure and our frequently accessed data will remain on the file servers i hope this video was informative and please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye bye